Okay, so if you had to explain to me like what, because that's where I get really confused on, is like yeah. what T3s, T4s, what does that mean in terms of just how that uh, functions in our body? Oh yeah, like can I use your labs for an yeah, example? Sure. So with your labs, you had a T3 level of 3.4, a TSH level of 3.5, and then your T4 level was 7.6. Okay, so in reality, um, the T3 is the number that really affects your cells. So we'll just draw your happy little stick figure self here. And we have our brain, and then we have our thyroid in our neck, and then we have our, in the brain, we have our pituitary. Okay, so the pituitary is going to be sending a message, a text message called a hormone that's called TSH. Now TSH stands for thyroid stimulating hormone. And that means that it's stimulating to the thyroid. So it's telling the thyroid to release hormones. So the thyroid sends out to the body this hormone that's called T4. So T4 is thyroxine and then that is what um, the thyroid produces, but what the body actually needs is a form of the thyroid called T3. So T4 is inactive, they say. Conversion happens in the body from T4 to T3, and then T3 goes into your cells, these little cells, and makes ATP. You remember in bio class where you had the mitochondria <laughs> producing the energy for the cell, and the energy for the cell goes and fuels all the different um, organs and the functions in your body. So ATP production doesn't have as much of an ability to actually be produced without the T3 being sufficiently high. So we really want your T3 to be between 3.4 and 4.4. So you are right on the cusp. And we know that you haven't been taking your thyroid for a little while, right? So that could explain why you're on the lower side of normal and why your TSH is a little higher than I would ideally like. Because what happens, there's something, they call it negative feedback. What it means is that it's like, if the T3 goes up high enough, then the pituitary doesn't have to work so hard to tell the thyroid to function. So there's this little message back to the, T, the pituitary that says, don't produce so much TSH. You don't need to work so hard. So that would be a down regulation of the TSH. So then the TSH can become optimal at less than 2.0. So, okay, so that's where we want the TSH to be. And T4 is important, you know, um, yours was 7.6 and really it should be anywhere from like eight to 12 so that it can convert to more T3. So by giving your body a natural replacement of the thyroid hormones, T4 and T3 in combination. We have a natural thyroid hormone um, supplement that's called Nature Thyroid. So easy, natural nature. Yes. And it just has a little bit of each one so that it increases your T4, it increases your T3, and then they'll decrease your TSH in a good way. So that makes your pituitary calm and happy. And they say that the things that affect the T3 and the T4 from being sufficiently high or affecting thyroid function can be autoimmune disease, in your case, Hashimoto's. So that's an autoimmune thyroid disease where the body thinks that the thyroid has these foreign particles and so it starts to attack it and inflame it a little bit. There's also the basic problems of being over, you know, over 30, over 40, somewhere in your older, you know, older young adulthood, um, being female, being um, stressed, having environmental toxins, all these things can affect the thyroid. Just then, therefore, I would say probably 70% of people don't know that they have a thyroid issue when they do. And the T3 and the T4 are really the better indicators when you're getting into that thyroid problem. It's only maybe years down the road that the pituitary will actually start to get so high that it looks indicated on the medical doctor's typical lab reports. So most doctors will typically test your TSH and they're in effect, testing your pituitary. Which that's is what happened in my case. Is that right? I just didn't know what was going on. Mm -hmm. and just kind of because you're into everything. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
treat your thyroid. What are some of the symptoms of a low thyroid? Just fatigue, um, you know, low energy, uh, hair thinning. Do you have any hair loss? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, yeah. I would like lose it by like you know, weight gain. Yes. More than normal, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. More than normal, and then the weight gain was probably Profound. the big, yeah. yeah. That's the huge one I feel like for women, they're like, okay, I'm not losing weight, I'm exercising yeah. a lot, I'm eating healthy, I made all these changes, why isn't this scale going yes. down? Yeah. Fertility and, uh, too, actually yes, fertility, thing, yes. women won't realize why they can't carry a pregnancy or why they can't get pregnant. And thyroid imbalance is one of the causes, so. Yeah. Well, that's that's kind of the fun little. Well, no, now it makes perfect sense. <laughs> <laughs> I got this now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello, Carol Bender here. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and share our video, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more content like the one you just saw.